السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله by the grace of Allah Taala the Quran has been completed we've been able to witness a miracle that you know is beyond any other kind of miracle there are miracles out there that somebody one day might say that I am able to do the same or I'm able to do something like that for example 500 years ago if I said that I can speak to somebody else in another part of the world instantly yeah, I was either lying or I must have been a very, very holy and spiritual person that I could connect with somebody instantly over several thousand miles. If somebody says today in modern day time that I spoke to somebody around the world, nobody cares. Everybody does it. So no, it doesn't seem like a miracle anymore. But to be able to recite a holy book, subhanAllah, word to word, 6,200 plus sentences in order without looking inside once, Subhanallah, not just by elite few people, but mashallah, millions of Fufad around the world. Mashallah, Allah knows how many masajid around the world, you probably end up losing count. How many masajid in which the Quran has been recited in its entirety in the month of Ramadan solely from human memory? If Allah forbid anybody wanted to rid the world of every single copy of the Quran, it'll never happen. They'd have to get rid of every single one of the Muslim Ummah as well. And MashaAllah, aside those who are complete Hufad, MashaAllah, we have many young children among us who are able to recite, MashaAllah, several chapters of the Qur'an. They are so young, some of them don't even know how to read any language, let alone Arabic. But MashaAllah, they are able to read nice and fluently in a beautiful style. So technically, logically, it is absolutely impossible, I repeat, impossible, to memorize the Qur'an the way that it is done around the world. Especially when you consider that the vast majority, let's assume two-thirds of the Hufat around the world. And if we were to assume on a rough estimate that they are approximately, approximately six to seven million, six or seven million Hufat around the world. That means that at least four million Hufat around the world, they are reading the whole Quran, even though they don't understand the words. And subhanAllah, mashallah, those brothers and sisters who are familiar with the style of the Quran, and mashallah the Hufad as well, as they were reciting, they will bear testimony that they had no idea how they were able to make sure that the verses in one chapter didn't get muddled with another. But alhamdulillah, they managed. In another place in the Quran, I just recited the beginning of three chapters. Anybody could have got any one of those verses muddled. But alhamdulillah, our Hufad, and likewise, the millions of Hufad around the world, they read flawlessly. Alhamdulillah. May Allah Ta'ala reward our dear Hufad. I'd like to pay also particular respect of our, to our dear Hufad, Sheikh Mansour and Hafid Ijaz. MashaAllah, they are very, you know, they are, they are people who have a lot of commitment elsewhere. MashaAllah, Sheikh Mansour, a family man. MashaAllah Ta'ala, he teaches and lectures, MashaAllah. In, at the university in London. MashaAllah, he's also a family man, so many commitments. MashaAllah, he took his time to, to recite the Quran to us, MashaAllah, beautifully. Hafiz Ijaz, MashaAllah Ta'ala, he has his holiday period, several weeks of holidays in Ramadan from his Islamic studies. And yet, MashaAllah Ta'ala, he was sacrificing every single day, reciting the Quran. And also, you know, whereas many of us, you know, when we're having our iftar, we can relax and enjoy the food. And the Hufad, we have to make sure there is extra space in our chest cavity to get that lung power in for our recitation. And also on top of that, the, the nerves do kick in as well. I can honestly say, you know, it doesn't matter how many years I've been reciting Tarawih for, every single year, the nerves do kick in. Because it's not the same. If you're sitting in a corner reading the Quran on your own, nobody's going to judge you. So you're absolutely calm and relaxed. To be reciting the Quran to the whole community, and yet not being able to look inside, being in that particular isolated position, is not easy. May Allah Ta'ala reward both of our Hufad and grant them barakah in their families, in their livelihood, in their Islamic and, uh, you know, and the worldly endeavors. Ameen. Ameen. And I'd also like to therefore at this moment also pay homage and tribute to the masjid trustees, the management, all of those people who even may not be here today with us here in person, but they are here with us in spirit. Our dear parents, grandparents, those people who, subhanAllah, did so much just to get us here. And I'm sure many of us being family people, you know, every single time you have to change our children's clothes, their soiled nappies, 
wash them down, comfort them when they are sad. How many times have our parents done this for us, day in, day out, for many years, just so that we can grow up, live a comfortable life, and be able to witness amazing moments like this, when we can hear the Qur'an being recited, or also yet be a part of the Qur'an being recited? If it wasn't for our parents and our grandparents and our forefathers and their sacrifices, you and I wouldn't even be Muslims today. May Allah Ta'ala reward them all with Jannatul Firdaus. Ameen. Whatever they may be in their resting places in their graves, may Allah Ta'ala illuminate their graves. May Allah Ta'ala comfort their conscience knowing that their children and their children's children have gone on to do wonderful things for the sake of Allah, that they are still focused on their deen. In a modern day time, there are so many things that we could be doing right now. Nobody forced anybody to be here. It is, mashallah, the brothers and sisters' love for Allah, keenness to practice their deen, and the blessing of Ramadan and Allah by the strength that allowed us to be here. Let us not forget those dear family members and people who are working behind the scenes. Likewise, mashallah, we have many people who have been serving the iftar here at the masjid and in the community. Mashallah, just to be able to feed many of us who, of course, after a long day of fasting, you know, it's a big undertaking. May Allah Ta'ala reward everybody who's been complicit in doing this as well. And first and foremost, therefore, as we mentioned earlier, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, all praise is due to Allah. Allah Ta'ala is the one who made this possible. If it was not for Allah Ta'ala, we would not be able to see and witness such a miracle of the Quran being recited. And I can honestly say, being it's an honor just being here and listening to the Holy Quran. That itself is a blessing of Allah Ta'ala. Long may it continue in our children and our children's children. Amin. And I'd like to therefore conclude by saying one last thing. And that is, mashaAllah, alhamdulillah, brothers and sisters, you spent hours every single night listening to the Holy Quran here at this masjid and mashaAllah around our local masjid and of course across the UK. Whatever we have been listening to the Qur'an, Alhamdulillah, we've been fortunate to hear the whole Qur'an or the majority of the Qur'an or even a few pages or words of the Qur'an being recited from human memory by the grace of Allah Ta'ala. As I mentioned before, that is only possible with Allah's will. Scientifically, it's impossible to memorize the Qur'an. That's actually a fact. It's scientifically impossible. Yet millions, Alhamdulillah, are able to do this. Allah Ta'ala made it easy. So we thank Allah Ta'ala and Allah Ta'ala alone and first and foremost. And we also ask brothers and sisters that now that we have listened to the words of the Qur'an, surely we want to know what they mean. Surely we want to know what Allah Ta'ala is advising us, telling us what to do and what not to do. Allah Ta'ala wants us to connect with Him. Allah Ta'ala has given us the message of the Qur'an. Let us make sure that after Ramadan we continue to listen to the Qur'an, continue to read the Qur'an and also where possible. Whether here at our masjid, where alhamdulillah, we have weekly talks and events covering the meanings of the Qur'an, the teachings of our Prophet sallallahu and likewise anywhere else in our community, wherever there are reputable scholars, people who are able to teach us the true meaning of Islam, the traditional way, in a way that helps us understand modern day life and how to practice our deen in modern day times, wherever we can find a place that offers this, let us take advantage. Let us take advantage. 30, 40 years ago, 30, 40 years ago, it was a rarity to find people who were able to express Islam in the English language. Now, alhamdulillah, we have so many of our you know, imams, mashallah, who are well versed in various languages, not just English. We have so many opportunities. Let us make a pledge between ourselves and Allah Ta'ala. I'm not going to take a register now and ask every single person to give their names and then tick your names off every time there is an event. No. Of course, we all understand what our commitments and times are. But of course, the idea is between ourselves and Allah. Allah has given us so much. We owe it to Allah Ta'ala to understand what he is saying in his holy words. And tonight is one of the special nights where Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, we feel a blessing of Ramadan, the nights of, of, of the final ten nights. This night, like the earlier and many other nights, could be Laylatul Qadr. So may Allah Ta'ala make it so that our du'as upon the completion of Allah Ta'ala's holy word are accepted. May Allah Ta'ala bless us all, accept these du'as on behalf of ourselves, our parents, our grandparents, our spouses, our children, our aunties, our uncles, our siblings, our cousin siblings, our neighbors, and our entire Muslim community at large. Amen. Jazakumullah. <laughs>